Hi there, hello, Sindri here. I'm an associate professor in industrial economics and I teach and research project management. What is the difference between project budgeting and cost estimation? Let's find out. I teach a course about uh, project cost estimation and it happens quite a lot that there is confusion between these two concepts. Uh, as a personal anecdote, uh, when I was asked to create this uh, course about cost estimation, there was a um, debate among the power that be whether or not I should create a course about budgeting or about uh, cost estimation. And there was also a debate whether or not there is a difference or if these two concepts is just the same thing with different names. Well, in short, uh, there is a difference. It's not the same thing. Uh, so as short as possible, um, Project budgeting is a bigger concept and project cost estimation is a subcomponent within the bigger concept of project budgeting. As we talked about in one of our other videos, uh, project management has uh, no consensus really when it comes to what to call things or how to define things. So just to have something to reference here, I'm going to use uh, Gardner 2005 um, project management a strategic planning approach. Is the curriculum book I use in my course. It's a little bit old book, but you know, bureaucracy being what it is, it's pretty difficult to change the book, so that's what we're going to use. Uh, on the bright side, however, um, what I'm going to talk about in this video uh, doesn't really change that much from, from, from book to book or from source to source. It's pretty much all the same. Okay, let's uh, stop beating around the bush and just get straight to the point. Project budgeting consists of four distinct different phases. Now the name of these phases varies a bit from different uh, source to source, but it's pretty much an agreement that there are four phases and they are in a particular sequence and what they entail. And that we have pretty much a consensus on. We don't have a consensus on, however, what to exactly call each of these different phases or stages. But according to Gardner 2005, uh, these four stages are as follows. Uh, the first phase of the project budgeting is to do resource planning. Then the second phase of project budgeting is to do cost estimation. And then the third phase here of project budgeting is to do cost budgeting. And the final and fourth phase of project budgeting is cost control. Now these names are a bit confusing, admittedly. Uh, first of all, as you already talked about, cost estimation and project budgeting kind of get confused quite a lot. But as you can see here, the third phase is called cost budgeting, and that also very easily gets confused with project budgeting. So I think we need to talk a little bit more in details about these four different uh, phases or sub-processes of the project budgeting process. So first off here, we have what Gardner refers to as resource planning. Uh, all the sources call this uh, resource analysis or resource estimation, or different names. But basically what it entails uh, is as follows. Um, what we need to realize here is that uh, a project is not really done for fun. We do projects in order to accomplish or, or achieve something. Uh, usually we want to create some kind of product or be able to provide some kind of services. Whatever it is that we want to, uh, to accomplish, we refer to that as project deliverables. So we do projects in order to come up with some kind of project deliverables. And resource planning is about identifying what resources do we need to expend or to use in order to be able to bring about these project deliverables. So the purpose of resource planning is uh, twofold. First of all, we need to come up with a list with the different resources we are going to need for our particular project to be able to, uh, to uh, provide these particular project deliverables. And second of all, we need to come up with an estimate, like what quantity of each of these resources are we going to need? Now, according to Gardner, uh, there are six fundamental categories of resources that a project need. Uh, first one is business need and requirement. Uh, we have human resources, physical resources, project constraints, organizational and environmental factors, and information resources. Uh, so the, the, there are many ways to kind of do this, but uh, if you have a list of different resources, uh, theoretical uh, list of resources, they need to be mutually exclusive and collectively exhaustive. But there's an infinite amount of ways to do exactly that. So if you look at different books on project management, they will come up with a different list of what the fundamental resources are. 
But in any case, uh, resource planning is about figuring out what resources you need and at what quantity. So once you have that, then you can proceed to the second stage of project budgeting, and that is cost estimation. And cost estimation, or the definition of cost estimation, is kind of circular, it's tautological. So basically, cost estimation is about, well, you, you guessed it, estimating the cost. So I think we need to define the, uh, the terms here. So first of all, cost can be defined in many ways, but the way I prefer to define this is as follows. The cost of a project uh, is the monetary value of the resources that we needed to expend in order to bring about the project deliverables. So this connects very nicely to resource planning. So resource planning was about uh, coming up with a list of resources that we need to expend in order to bring about the, uh, the project deliverables. And now the cost estimation is to attach like a, a, mon a monetary value to these resources. So the uh, a required input to uh, estimate cost is to know what resources we need. And once we know these resources from the resource planning, in the second stage, uh, cost estimation, we attach a monetary value to that. We come up with a price tag. We come up with uh, how much money do these resources translate into. An estimation basically just means that we don't know exactly what the cost is going to be because usually we do the cost estimation before we decide to undertake the project. And because of the nature of the project and being unique and requiring progressive elaboration, we're not going to know the cost exactly before we're done with the project. So we are estimating means that we don't know for sure exactly what the cost is going to be. So we are trying to use different methods or sometimes we're just guessing. We're trying to come with our best guess of what this monetary value is going to be. Uh, so according to literature, there are you know, 10 different methods of how you can do cost estimation. I'm not going to go into details of that here, or actually I'm not going to provide any details. But just keep in mind, cost estimation involves using some combination of these 10 different methods. And these methods come from the PM book, the Project Management Body of Knowledge. Now, the third stage here, which sequentially comes after resource planning and cost estimation, is called cost budgeting. And cost budgeting is basically about taking this, uh, this cost estimate and uh, attach it or, or disaggregate it and spread it across the schedule. So we're trying to add a time dimension here. Uh, most of the time, people believe that uh, budgeting is only about the cost constraint. So remember, a project has three fundamental constraints, time, cost, and scope, and many believe that budgeting is only about the cost constraint. That is not true. We already demonstrated there that we need to talk about the resources, and that is kind of the scope. But now we're also adding the third uh, constraint there, and that is time. So to do cost budgeting, you need two things. You need the cost estimate, and to do the cost estimate, you need uh, the list of resources and quantities. But additionally to knowing the cost estimate, you also need to know a schedule. And a schedule, you can create that using like a network diagram or a Gantt chart. Now, in order to make a network diagram, uh, you need kind of uh, well, three uh, inputs. You need a list of activities, and this list of activities are usually identified with what you call for work breakdown structure. I'm not going to go into details of that either, unfortunately. Uh, so you need a list of activities. Uh, you need uh, uh, an estimation of the duration of each activity. And you need kind of the logical relationship between each of the activities. Are they dependent or are they independent activities? If they are dependent, what kind of dependency is it? Is it a start to start or finish to finish, uh, start to finish or finish to start? And once you have these three inputs, then you can create the schedule. And once you have a schedule, you can combine it with the cost estimate. So cost estimate is about knowing how much the project is going to cost. And to make the cost budget, you need to attach the cost estimate to a schedule so that you know not only what it's going to cost, but you know how much money you're going to spend at uh, each particular moment in time in the project execution uh, uh, phase. Uh, so that brings us now finally to uh, cost control. And cost control is just about uh, making sure that we are staying on budget. And the tool that we use in project management to determine this is called earned value analysis. Earned value analysis is an entire topic on its own, so I'm not going to go into the details here, unfortunately, either. But uh, earned value analysis uh, involves basically three um, basic variables here. 
the budgeted cost of work scheduled, which is basically what we identify with the cost budget. The cost budget is what's defined the, uh, the budgeted cost of work scheduled. And then additionally, as we are executing the project, uh, we will have two other variables that will be developing as we go to the execution phase. And this is the uh, budget, the cost of work performed, and also the actual cost of work performed. And based on these three variables, uh, we can calculate uh, 10 or so different uh, measures, which will tell us a lot about whether or not we are on schedule, are we on the schedule, or behind the schedule, or are we ahead of the schedule. And we can also use this uh, earn value analysis measures to tell us something about if we are like, on the budget in terms of cost, or are we ahead of schedule, uh, uh, over the budget, or under the budget. So earned value analysis, EVA, is what you use there in cost control. Uh, so there's uh, many things we glossed over here. Uh, so for instance, the uh, different ways of doing cost estimation, there are 10 of them. That's an entire topic on its own. Cost control involves doing uh, earned value analysis, also an entire topic on its own. Uh, to do cost budgeting, we need to do scheduling also. That's also an entire topic on its own. Uh, so there's a lot of things here that we are just glossing over. But uh, in short, uh, we are talking about project budgeting. Project budgeting has ten, or sorry, has four different phases. This is resource planning, cost estimation, cost budgeting, and cost control. Resource planning was about figuring out what resources we need and at what quantity. Cost budgeting was about attaching a monetary value to these resources. Cost budgeting was attaching the cost estimate to a schedule. And cost control was just making sure that we actually are executing the project in accordance with the cost budget. So that will be it for me today. If you liked the video, like, comment and subscribe. Do the stuff. Um, see you guys later for another topic.